Prince Harry emerges victorious in the latest legal battle against the publisher of The Sun. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Prince Harry has successfully secured a victory in his legal battle against the Sun newspaper's publisher, as a high court judge dismissed a request to postpone the trial. The judge in the most recent decision refused NGN's request to delay the trial scheduled for January, stating that it would not be acceptable to postpone the proceedings in order to have a separate preliminary trial to determine if the cases were filed too late. The Duke of Sussex claims that he was a target of journalists and private investigators employed by NGN, the same company that owned the now-closed News of the World. Two days after actor Hugh Grant settled his case against the tabloid's publisher to avoid the high legal costs of a trial, this latest incident has come to light. Mr. Grant stated that he was reluctant to take the money from the Rupert Murdoch-owned group, but was advised that if he received less than the settlement offer in damages, he would be responsible for covering the legal fees of both parties. The Duke has a well-known animosity towards the British tabloids holding them responsible for his mother's death in 1997, and has made it a personal mission to reform the media in the UK. He has cited media intrusion as a factor in his decision to distance himself and his wife from the royal family. Grant stated in a formal statement that he was unable to identify the intruder who had broken into his apartment on the fourth floor in 2011. His door had been forcibly opened and the inside showed signs of a struggle, although nothing was taken. A couple of days later, The Sun published an article describing the scene as evidence of a possible domestic dispute. He was shocked to learn from a private investigator hired by The Sun that individuals associated with the newspaper had actually broken into his apartment and installed a tracking device on his vehicle. Grant, who had reached a settlement in a case against News of the World for phone hacking, stated that he had no intention of fading away quietly. He refused to accept Murdoch's settlement money, stating that he will not be silenced by what he considers tainted funds. For over a decade, he has been dedicated to advocating for an unbiased and ethical press that does not manipulate facts, harm the public, or give in to the influence of powerful newspaper owners for personal gain or political advantage. Grant mentioned that he planned to allocate the funds towards organizations such as Hacked Off, which was established in response to the phone hacking scandal in 2011 that led to the closure of News of the World and prompted a government investigation into illegal press behaviors. Grant sits on the board of this group, which promotes a press that is both free and responsible. Grant mentioned that he planned to allocate the funds towards organizations such as Hacked Off, which was established in response to the phone hacking scandal in 2011 that led to the closure of News of the World and prompted a government investigation into illegal press behaviors. Grant sits on the board of this group, which promotes a press that is both free and responsible. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video.